I'm Chosen Architect, and this is All The Mods Volcano Block. Welcome to All The Mods Volcano Block. That's right, we are jumping into a new Let's Play, and you may be well aware of my old Let's Play that was Volcano Block, but this is nothing like that mod pack. This is entirely separate. This is from the All The Mods team, and this is more like All The Mods 8 Skyblock. It's basically that. There's still an All The Mods star, all the similar stuff from all of the All The Mods mod packs, which is really cool. Uh, but this pack is very different from any other sky block, uh, minus the volcano block, and that is that we spawn on lava. Yes, and we spawn on this little platform here that has a little bit of a story behind it. Now, why are we here? Well, hopefully we can find that out by entering this building, and inside it we see this obsidian pillar, and there's a, a lectern here with a note coming from Warped Menace. Hmm. Note 37. It's too late. Containment has been breached by the mass of stalactite falling from above. As I write this, the spores are overwhelming my organs and cells. It won't be long now till I'm like them. I feel dizzy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is not a good thing. This uh, sounds very bad. Welcome to all the mods volcano block. Very nice. And these are the instructions that we need to use to create our island to get started. Have fun and lava burns, by the way. Oh, does it? It burns. Yeah, well, we'll find out. So to get to our island, we will simply run a command sky block and GUI. In doing so, it's going to pull up a team menu. We create a team and we're presented with a couple of islands. Now, once this menu is open, we get access to four islands as of right now. And the four starting islands are a small ship, which appears like this and has uh, wood already. Some of the warped wood, which you can use to make a boat. Then you have the large ship, which has some of the crimson wood, which you can also use to make a boat to get across lava. Then you have the life forms again. Unfortunately, you do not get to start with a boat uh, as there is none of that wood. And then there's the lava bunker, which you also do not get wood to be able to craft a lava boat right off the bat. So in picking which island, I'm going to choose probably the first boat as it's kind of small. It's nice. It'll be something that I can tear down, collect the resources from and get started with. So after getting my name set, I just simply hit create. And the reason I've chosen this particular island is, well, because it does start you off with wood that you can use. Otherwise, it's going to be quite the journey of obtaining the uh, the warped material in order to get yourself a boat. So keep that in mind. <laughs> keep that in mind when choosing your island, as uh, it does make a difference because, well, it's going to be quite the journey trying to get yourself some fungus and actually growing it. And of course, exploration is a big part of this mod pack. That is a huge, huge part of it. As you can see, there's structures and there's all kinds of stuff just waiting to be found. And there's loot to be found within those structures. Now, here's something I want to know. What island are you going to choose? Let me know down in the comments below. And also, while you're down there checking out the comments, be sure to click that subscribe button if you do enjoy videos like these, as it really does help out a lot. And we're getting super close to the 600,000 subscriber mark. And I can't do it without you guys. So as you've seen from the start, we do have Vein Miner, which of course is the key underneath your escape key. And we do have the Twerking Grow mod or the Fart on the Tree mod or whatever it's called nowadays, where you just simply crouch and it will grow your saplings. And of course, we can harvest. Now, getting started in this, there is a quest book. I like to set the key binds or my quest book to the Z key. And in doing so, uh, I can then just open up the quest book. Now, you can also get to your quest book by clicking up here when opening your inventory just to get started. And you can see we're ready to go. Now, there's a ton of information here, tons of quests and multiple, some multitude of ways that you can progress ultimately leading you to the creative items and crafting the all the mod star, which I was looking at and it doesn't seem like it's awfully bad to do this. Um, and uh, so hopefully our goal is going to be to craft the all the mod star in this pack, much like many of the other all the mods mod packs. And of course, throughout that journey, it's going to lead to tons of twists and turns. Now, the first thing we need to look at is this part one of getting started. 
Um, this right here is going to be our frontline progression of how we actually get started and start to produce resources. And it has some really cool like images and things like that. I really like this, but it says climb aboard, get started. You'll spawn at the volcano hub, which we've already done. And then of course we're going to use our commands to get started in which we've done that. And we get some food rewards, which is kind of nice. Now it talks about getting ourselves some wood and getting started. And it looks like it's going to progress us through basic ex nihilo. And if you're unfamiliar with ex nihilo, well, you're about to get real familiar with it. So we just simply get ourselves some planks so that way it will complete the quests. And then we have ourselves a crafting table. Um, so why did the nut go? There we go. There we go. Now it collected. So we can get ourselves some more saplings and then we get even more saplings from our saplings. And then it's going to lead us into uh, getting water and then also getting strings so we can make a mesh. Now, the dirt that our tree was on, well, it was hiding something. It says beneath. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a special kind of dirt. We can sneak right click the dirt in order to get pebbles. And uh, of course, these pebbles are going to give us a lot of resources. We can just simply hit K on our keyboard to compress them down, or you can just take them and manually craft the compression uh, to get the things you need. But we get cobblestone right off the bat. Um, and we can do this indefinitely. And in doing all this, I really want to explore this thing. Uh, and just like, I just I just want to build. So all I want to do is just build and build some cool structures that fit within this lava. Now, this is much like starting on any sort of fluid or any sort of skyblock. The realities are still the same. Mobs are still going to spawn the same way. Water still works the same way. It looks like we're in the nether, but in reality, we're in an overworld. Um, and so all of those basic mechanics of a skyblock should still all apply to this. Now, as soon as we have a little bit of wood and some sticks, I recommend making a crook. This is how we're going to get a few things. Well, one of them being worms, the other being just a lot more saplings. You just get a dramatic, a dramatic amount of saplings per uh, leaf harvest uh, harvested. So uh, it's going to be definitely worth your while making that. Uh, but it's also going to get us our first string and wool. And I feel kind of weary if I was to place any wool down because it, it would get, most definitely catch on fire. And with that said, well, goodbye are the days of wooden platforms lining the entire skyblock world because, well, they will spontaneously combust and, well, so will you. So now that we have ourselves some worms, let's go ahead and place those worms on our leaves. And this is the basis of Ex Nihilo. This is how you get string so you can make a mesh so that way you can get to sieving pretty quickly. Now, while this process is going on, we want to get ourselves some barrels. Uh, so it's going to require us some planks. And I believe we just make them like so. Now, barrels are going to get us dirt, uh, but we're also going to need crucibles, uh, I believe. And these are going to allow us to get water. Uh, and I like to make more than one of them. Two of them are going to be really nice. And we can go ahead and set them aside for now. Yes, water is kind of important. And we are in the nether or in a volcano. I guess it's better to think of it as a volcano, not being inside of hell, because that's a totally different place. So here we go. We get all of our string harvested up. And then we just need to maintain saplings in here and keep placing them in for now. Uh, and then when it comes to the barrel... Uh, what we're going to need to do is either put saplings in or you can utilize this string, which is a lot better because we get a ton of it to actually make the dirt. Now, with the stone that we gathered earlier, I should be able to make myself a hammer. Um, and this now is going to allow me to start making different materials. I can start making uh, from our cobblestone, gravel, sand and dust, which is very, very common materials that we would normally find in the overworld. Well, but because we don't have an overworld, we have to dig it from this one measly piece of dirt that we have. Now, oddly enough, when it comes to the cobblestone, I'm pretty sure that we, if we were to break this cobblestone in its compressed form, we just get back the compressed form. No, we actually get back gravel. Nice. So we can go ahead and compress all of this material and we should be able to, as you can see right here, get the compressed forms of it. Oh, that makes it really, really nice. However, it is a little bit harder to break the compressed form so keep in mind that when you're working with it, I think right off the bat, just to make the quests happy, we should probably convert all of this over manually, but it's good to know that we can do it in a compressed form. That'll save us a lot of time. And there we go. Now we get some compressed versions of each. 
except for dust, as I don't even, I don't think the, the dust has a compressed form. Now, moving forward in our quest line, after we've achieved our dirt and we grabbed our dirt out of here, uh, we definitely need ourselves a furnace and to smelt some of our sand. And that's gonna give us some glass, which is gonna allow us to make a bottle. And then we can bottle up the water that is inside these. And we can use them to, to now hopefully fill this up. It's gonna take three bottles though, in order to fill this thing up. Ooh, eerie number there, especially since we're in a volcano, AKA hell, <laughs> very, very scary. Um, and so I need to keep at this. I think 333 millibuckets is exactly the amount that the bottle will hold. So that's how much we're gonna have. And we need to do this in order to get ourselves our first makeshift makeshift bucket. So, and just like that, we have enough for another one. And there we go, a full bucket worth. And then we can take our dust and place the dust inside and we get clay, which is just enough for us to be able to make our first makeshift bucket by simply smelting it. And this will allow us to create an infinite water source, which is really, really handy early on, especially when we're using water to manipulate tons of stuff. Now, while I'm waiting on my water to generate, let's go ahead and do the next part of the quest, which is going to be sieving. This is more shaking necessary. Uh, and so we're going to be finally getting into the sieve part of things, which means we need a mesh, which is going to utilize that string that we have. Uh, and then we're also going to need an oak sieve. Now, if you're wanting to pin a crafting recipe, you can simply hit A while hovering over it. And you can see it's going to put it into a bookmark bar. And of course, you can also disable this bookmark bar by clicking it down below here if it ever gets in the way. Another useful tip for JEI, which is what we're using to search all this stuff, is if anything ever is in your way, you can hit Control and O, and that is going to remove uh, it from sight. So that way you won't accidentally click on things. It might be, it might come in handy later on when you're working with many other mods. So here we go. Oak sieve ready to go. And we can go ahead and get this placed right on down and then put our mesh inside. This is gonna allow us to sieve things like our dirt, for example. So once we get this sieved up and we just simply hold down right click, as you can see, it is going to process. We're gonna be getting a lot of different things, including seeds and all kinds of other loose material here. All kinds of different crops and things like that that we can grow. That's usually what comes out of dirt. Uh, and it's nice to see that that is continuing in this pack. Now, after completing each of these quests, we do get a random reward, uh, but it's talking about growing grass. We're gonna need to now start to expand and grow grass. This is once you've sieved some dirt, you'll likely get grass seeds. Planting these on dirt will convert them into grass. Uh, and it, yeah, it's not the prettiest <laughs> as yeah, it's probably not with this theme. Um, but yeah, it's definitely going to grow some stuff. We'll, like, we're able to grow some flowers and mobs should be able to potentially passively spawn, which is going to be super helpful. Now, another awesome thing is the resource chickens is in here. And this is a sign from keeping KFC in business. Chickens provide a ton of value by creating resourceful chickens. Um, that's pretty awesome. So we should be able to eventually capture chickens and turn them into resourceful chickens. However, the chickens do cost a bit. It says it takes 250 of an item to convert the chickens into, I'm assuming, their respectful version um, of whatever item we had. So that's something we'll have to keep in mind, but the fact that it's in here means that things will be very, very easy later on when we start to produce tons of them. Now it does appear also hostile mobs. Well, they spawn the same way, like you said, normal mob farm getting started. And then of course uh, that moves us into what's next. And that is sieving for our materials such as iron. Now I don't know if a mob farm is gonna be super useful for us right away. We're gonna have to see, but I know getting into a higher tier mesh is definitely gonna be worthwhile. To get flint, well, that's actually quite an easy task uh, as we can just simply craft ourselves a mesh right here from the pickle tweaks. And this allows us to craft gravel with it to immediately get flint. However, it does have some uses, so keep that in mind. Uh, but that's like the primary use for this particular mesh here. Uh, really, really handy. And that's gonna allow us to immediately upgrade our mesh. And we're gonna need several of them because I'm gonna be setting up a multi-block of these. Um, and we just put it in like so. Uh, now, I'm gonna be crafting up to a five by five of these. Uh, yes, you can have a five by five. That means this thing is gonna go all the way out here, taking up quite a bit, uh, bit of area, but it's gonna be super helpful as we start to expand and start to sieve more things. 
So I'm definitely going to want some quality of life tools as I start to expand on making this a five by five. Uh, and of course, a wand is one of the best ways to do that. So I can now go ahead and get myself a wand. Uh, and also, uh, if you haven't already, of course, manually clicking this, yeah, that's going to be kind of tedious and painful. If you do happen to have uh, a auto clicker or you happen to have a macro that's a part of your mouse, you can just simply use that and it does work as well. And it generates it quite quickly. Uh, the only thing is, is this is just, you know, lowering the amount of time that you would have to spend right clicking for stone early on. Just having a wand to simply place this stuff is very, very nice. Look at that. And then it's just a matter of turning this all into gravel, making all the flint that I can uh, using that same method. And I'm slowly but surely getting all of these. I think I only need 13 more and we're ready to start sieving gravel, which is just going to be the same process repeated. Now with the mesh made up, watch this. Oh, this is so satisfying. All of the materials getting sieved in this way. Oh man, faster than even using a basic compressed variant. And we're getting tons of little resources here. Hmm, wonder what all these are. So, uh, I really like this, these new textures. I've not seen these textures before, and these are really nice looking. Um, so, iron pieces, out of just that little bit, we end up getting these iron pieces, and these combined together make the raw iron. So, it does appear we're going to be needing to do this a lot in order to get enough resources uh, to, to start progressing. And uh, after we have this, uh, we need to make some iron, and then it's going to talk about lava, and it looks like that we can make these boats, whether that's a crimson or a warped. And this is where which island you choose really determines whether or not you're going to be able to make these things right now. Uh, because our particular boat has these things as a part of their materials, such as these warped planks. That would be pretty easy to just harvest to make your first boat. But if you're on any other island, well, it's going to be a much longer progression in order to get your first boat to be able to start exploring. So now after acquiring some iron, this is where the grind really is going to set in uh, because we are going to need to start upgrading our meshes. And as you can see, this is going to take a bit of this material. Now at this point, I don't really have a good cobblestone generator, a way to generate infinite amounts of cobble that should hopefully help us in our production of making gravel that we're going to need to sieve. So let's figure that out. So for this cobblestone generator, there's actually a really nice, simple generator that we can actually set up. It's going to be pretty nice. Um, I'm kind of surprised I was able to pick up the... Oh, no. It is slowly dwindling. Oh, I've got to be quick. i got to be quick. i got to be quick. Um, Glass, uh, logs. Oh, boy. Let's make that real quick. <laughs> that bucket was about to bust. Oh no, we're going to be making the cobblestone tier one. Be careful using the ceramic buckets as it was dwindling, as you can see there. And I'm sure it would have uh, just placed the lava right at my feet. Um, so, so now that we have that, uh, it's so much better because cobblestone generators don't work normally in the overworld here. So uh, yeah, it's kind of awkward placing um, water with, uh, with this stuff because like it just doesn't interact the same way. It doesn't like make obsidian, which is uh, one of the ways that you would normally uh, get obsidian is by placing water on here. It doesn't quite work that way. So keep that in mind. This is really going to be the only real early game cobblestone generator that you're going to want to set up. And of course, this is upgradable and definitely probably want to upgrade it to the least tier two. Now, of course I want to upgrade it, but I want to generate cobble first. And so there's enough cobble to allow me to upgrade this. I love how the mod's called Cobble for Days. I love that. Um, and I went ahead and made a regular bucket so that way we could just upgrade this. So perfect. So we have this tier. Of course, the next one requires iron. Uh, not super necessary yet. But now that we have this, Cobble's just going to be generating passively, which means we can then pull it out of here instead of sieving the ground or right-clicking the ground over and over again, which gets pretty tiring. Now that that's generating some cobblestone, let's just go ahead and do a little bit of exploring. I don't know how much exploring I'm going to be able to get done, but I want to chop away the top of these wheels uh, just for now to allow me to craft a boat. Um, and then I also want to make these little ramps that lead down here. And I want to uh, get this set up. I think I'm going to use some basalt for right now, but I want to make it easier to get down to this level. I think that's going to be hard. We don't have the cork mod, which would normally allow us to get down here. We're probably going to have to do that after we get 
a boat set up. So let's get that boat crafted. It is like so. And now we have a warped boat. Uh, does it give us anything as a reward uh, for crafting the boat? Just some experience. Okay, very nice. Um, so the same on both sides. These are eventually going to be our platforms, I think, that lead down. Uh, so that way we can get animals to spawn and get ourselves other things. But exploring is what I really want to do right now. So let's get some exploring going. So let's see what treasures there are to be found. So we take our boat. Oh, and we're lava surfing. Oh, this is exciting. Uh, so we need to make our way up here. I really want to explore and see what's on top of this, which is one of the closest structures that we have. And how do I go about doing that? It looks like there's a ladder down here, but that doesn't really help us out too, too much. Maybe we can just place blocks down here and that will allow us to hop off the boat if we hold down shift. Whoa. Whoo. That's, that's very terrifying. Um, <laughs> but there we go. I got that set up and then we should be able to take this. I'm so used to having quirk. There's actually a lot of mods that you would normally find in a mod pack that aren't in this mod pack. So, uh, very curious, sophisticated backpacks being one. It's been in like every, all the mods mod pack recently. So it's interesting to see that one not there. Oh, there's a cactus chicken here. Uh, what does it take to get the chicken catcher? What it, it was in the quest, right? The, the yoinker, <laughs> I keep calling it a yoinker. Uh, but it is definitely not. It's this thing. So it's just some string. Ooh, we might want to to do that. Oh, and there's... Oh, look at that. Bone. All kinds of goodies. We got a spawner aggregator. Some sharpness. Right off the bat. Is there anything else in this? It was just a single chest up here. And a chicken. Huh. And then tons of okram, or okram, which is technically a gold material from Create. I kind of want to grab you, Cactus Chicken. Uh, I might come back. I'm going to have to go. I'm going to make myself a catcher. It is terrifying getting off your boat. Now, I know you're supposed to be able to just like stand on the boat. So there we go. We should be fine. Oh, wow. Okay. So this thing, it was, uh, yeah, let's uh, see what it looks like in the quest, right? Because we haven't gotten to that point. But since we're already exploring, we might as well grab one of these. Uh, and I'm assuming it only holds one chicken. So let's go put the cactus one in there. That's an awesome one to have. Now, I really hope they don't despawn. Um, okay, good. They, they don't. And there we go. We have ourselves a cactus chicken. Hopefully it actually just normally like randomly drops materials. That'd be useful, especially getting cactus. I don't even know how we would get cactus. Well, I guess we'd probably get it from sieving, wouldn't we? But this is a good example. I love how at this point we have now gathered enough resources that we are exploring. Oh, there's a skull up there. And yeah, we're exploring the depths of this volcano. And this is a this must be a massive volcano, you know? Or is this the remnants of Earth after the entire world is covered with lava? I don't know. Let me know in the let me know down in the comments below what you think uh potentially happened to this world. I don't know. Is it just the remnants? Because there's like floating structures as if we've industrialized around this uh this unfortunate disaster. I mean, it really does appear that way. Hmm. How do we get on here, by the way? If we... I'm guessing we just... We stand on our boat and we hop up. Okay. That is how we're going to be doing it. I was wondering, because if it's not under the ground, I was wondering how it was going to affect things. I wonder what's in these. Okay. There's nothing in this container. Anything in this one? It's like a surprise in every box. Nothing in this container. Uh-huh. I love these analog levers. <laughs> They're really interactable. Ooh, there is a chest. Ooh, bone. Good stuff. Ooh, we end up getting wild and horn from ours. And there's a schematic from Tetra, which is going to be our tool mod that is in this. Let's see what's in this container. And there's nothing in this container as well. So the loot is very limited. It seems like, which is good. It allows us to explore more. Let's see what's on the next level up top here. Ooh, more containers. Oh, there's bound to be another chest in here at least. Come on, anything good? Anything good? Nothing in that one? 
Imagine if one of these was just filled with TNT and me activating this just caused it to explode. Oh boy. Oh wow. Okay. Oh. Projectile linger sensitive fangs lightning amplify and extend time. Holy book. Oh my god. That's a book. Wow. I think that would kill a lot of things. No problem. And we got a trident. What? Um, okay, so we have ourselves some boots. So we're getting ourselves equipped. I'm trying to be limited on what we pick. Uh, oh, nice. You this you get a Starbuckle shard. We're gonna really need these when we get into ours, and I feel like ours is gonna be very helpful. Very important as well. I don't think any of this stuff is important right now. We can always come back and grab more materials. Let's see if there's anything else that's super useful to us early on. Everything else here is kind of kind of meh for right now. Later on it'll be way more way more useful. And ooh, there's mana steel, some saddles, more wild and horns. A lot of stuff. Ooh, pants. Very nice. So we we've got our bottoms equipped. Oh, this is a nicer sword than I have. And then this is a gem from Apotheosis, and then we have ourselves a helmet. Very cool. And of course, because I like to actually uh, have my helmet off, I like to go ahead and disable the helmet even though I have the gear on using our little cosmetic armor button down here. Love that mod. Yeah, look, we're getting uh, mob drops without even needing to kill any mobs. That's perfect. Also, we might need to note this. This is Skystone that's down here. I don't know if that's... Oh, elevators. I don't know if that's uh, super useful. I didn't know there was elevators here. We could have just used those. <laughs> what? Now I definitely see a lot of exploring in our future and this is going to be super fun. But more exploring is going to have to wait until next episode because, well, today we're effectively out of time. I know, I'm sad too. But now you don't have to be sad if you click that subscribe button and ring that beautiful notification bell because you'll be notified when I publish the next episode. So be sure to get that done if you haven't already and give this video a huge thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and it is now time for me to thank the amazing supporter of today's episode. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this, this is how I like to thank my supporters over on Discord. Those who become a premium Discord member and or a YouTube member here on YouTube. Of course, next to that subscribe button. I tend to like to thank you guys at the end of the episode, uh, picking at random one of my supporters to shout out in the video. And of course, I like to do this in multiple of uh, multiple different ways. But in this particular way, early on in this pack, we're going to be using a sign later on. Hopefully we get kind of fancy with it. Uh, but for right now, that is going to be a huge thanks. That is going out to Meanie. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over on the Discord, becoming a Discord premium member and supporting in one of the best ways possible. Guys, I thank you so, so very much. Be sure to check out the Discord if you haven't already. We do have supporter servers and all of that over there if you are a supporter of any tier. And then we also do provide world downloads and templates and all kinds of awesome stuff over there as well for the supporters. So thank you so very much. I do appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.